There are 1,000 ants in this box. And 100 days they will develop here. They will hunt for prey here, fight for territory and food with other colonies. And also meet dangerous neighbors who live in this tropical forest. But what happens if the ants come across a giant chicken foot and a vivarium? But I was shocked by what happened later. I found an old but pretty cheap aquarium on the internet. I plan to make a real tropical forest out of it. But first I need to clean it, because it's pretty dirty. I remove all the sand and various debris. I wipe the glass again until it shines. And I apply special foam here, which will be the basis for building an incredible location. Now I'll put this fantastic tree. And other plants here and everything is almost ready. It's time to populate the Foidola Palidula ants here. I already made a video about these monsters. You can watch this video. Day one. After placing the box in the middle, I carefully removed the lid from it. And immediately hundreds of ants rushed out. They immediately started running like crazy. But stop! It seems that the ants have entered the territory of another colony. And now they are defending their ant hill. A couple of dozen small and very fast ants attack the giant soldier ant at once. He tries to defend himself with his powerful fangs, but it seems that he does not succeed very much. This often happens in the wild. After some time, the Camponotus ants still drove away the strangers. Meanwhile, part of the colony of orange small ants managed to start moving the colony to this vivarium in a matter of seconds. The queen ant and thousands of eggs were brought to the new ant hill with great speed. These ants are simply incredibly fast and organized. Just look at these cute insects. They are so happy to have a big new space to grow their colony. Day 10. But what will happen if a chicken foot appears in the vivarium? What will be the reaction of the different inhabitants? Because in nature, ants can hunt not only small insects, but also much larger prey. And within seconds, dozens of ants gathered to feast on the new find. With every minute, the ants became more and more numerous. Upon learning of the new object, ant soldiers with powerful claws. But wait! I'll put even more Camponotus ants here, which I caught in the room because they once escaped from my anthill, and there are already several thousand of them here, and they actively started eating this hot leg straight from the grill. Day 30. But no matter how hard the ants tried, they still couldn't eat it all. So I decided to help and put hundreds of wood lice and other insects in this vivarium. They immediately began to scatter in different directions. But at night, hundreds of these creatures will eat everything in their path. They are true sanitation workers of nature. Meanwhile, in another corner of the vivarium, ants of the Fidel species hunted a giant cricket. In just a few seconds, when one ant finds prey, half of the anthill immediately mobilizes to deliver the find to its anthill and feed all its ant eggs, since it is very important for them. But the other kingdom of ants is not lagging behind in development. Just look at this soldier as he bites off pieces of prey with his claws. Other insects also sometimes eat chicken feet, but later I saw a giant centipede that decided to also feast on this chicken foot from KFC. Just look at its size, like a creature from another planet, like a monster. But still, the ants didn't like that this creature crawled into their territory and the ants quickly drove the centipede away. Ants have become so fearless that they have the courage to attack insects that are several hundred times larger than them. And Malipid realized that it's better not to have anything to do with ants. Day 51 Yes, the food I put here is no longer the freshest quality, but for some reason right now, when the meat has become not very tasty, the isopods have actively started eating it, and these creatures are already actively breeding. And not only them, look, this crab is sitting with a cockroach on the same tree. Later, he decided to come closer and get to know the ants. But the <gasps> ants were not delighted with such a meeting and quickly drove him away. This crab got a giant location. This praying mantis is also shocked that the ants always want to steal something from him. And not just like that. He always catches delicious food for himself. And the ants finish what the praying mantis didn't eat. I decided to give the ants a big sweet jelly and they immediately started eating it. The other inhabitants also don't mind enjoying a sweet dessert. So much time has passed since I created this fantastic vivarium and a lot has changed. Day 90. After 90 days, there was nothing left of the chicken leg. Ants and other insects had already eaten everything. During this long time, even this giant spider had managed to weave its web in this place. Look how big it is. But after a while, I noticed some eggs here. Oh my god, it looks like someone has already hatched from them and climbed to the surface. Even this crab was curious about what was inside. But after a while, I saw some little creatures on the tree. Yes, it looks like they are geckos. 